Hey there, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com, your place for free and low-priced resources to start, grow, and market your business effectively. And I'm doing a Facebook Live today. I'm also doing a regular video at the same time because uh, I want to get this out to the world. One of the things I want to talk to you about today, I had the idea in the shower this morning, was I don't think people realize that they're really... what. What if you were actually charging what you worth were worth, right? What if your hourly rate or your package price or your annual program or whatever you uh, do was actually priced uh, really high, really high, something that you, you know you're worth it, but some of you aren't charging what you're worth. And I hate to see that. I want to see you guys charging as much as you possibly can say, what I say is I'll charge, say, mm, when people ask me, what should I charge for a program? I always say, say, charge as much as you possibly can without stuttering. And I was stuttering through that, so I had to start over. <laughs> um, but I want to talk about pricing today just a little bit. And so hang out with me. If you're watching this on the replay, then thanks. Uh, make sure you like the like and comment and um, share your comments. Hey, Dusty. Hey, Jay. Thanks for being here. And Margarita, awesome to see you. Um, make sure you tell us what you're up to today. I also want to tell you where I'm flying out to today uh, in a minute. But first, I want to talk about pricing. So why am I, why is pricing so important? And you know, a lot of times people, when they start their own business, they say, well, I looked at the market, I look at whatever pretty else is charging and I charge something similar or they charge something lower because they're newer. And that's not always the best thing to do. Uh, if you have expertise, I've seen people with PhDs and two degrees and uh, so much training and they've invested a couple tens of thousands of dollars in uh, other training and mentoring and stuff like that. Um, that yeah, they're going to charge less than somebody who's in their industry who maybe has been there and doing it longer than them. But that's not necessarily a good thing. What if that person doesn't have the same training? Just because they've been doing their business longer doesn't mean they uh, are better or can warrant a, a bigger price tag. So I say you need to charge what you're worth out of the gate. Okay. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't negotiate and give deals and maybe on your first group program do like a beta test or something like that and have it at a lower price. You can get more people because we do need to get testimonials and case studies and people that believe in us, trust in us and, and talk, um, have good things to say about us, right? So we can actually get more clients. So I just wanted to talk about that today. And, and if you at all are feeling a little bit resentment, a little bit resentful or, um, Maybe you have a client that asks so much of you, uh, too much of you maybe, and you don't really always, you know, you look at their phone and like, oh God, it's them again. You know, if you have clients like that, it could be that they're not really a good client, of course, but it could also be that you're not getting paid what you're worth for what you're doing for them. Therefore, you're resenting all the time that they want you to spend. And I, you know, if you raised your rates, first of all, they would have to decide to stay or go, right? So it might be a good thing. Uh, and the second thing is you, if you're getting paid, a lot of times people tell me, well, I don't want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I just want to have group programs, memberships, and products and things like that. And that's fabulous. You don't have to have one-on-one -on -one coaching. However, one-on-one -on -one coaching can be your top dollar program, product, or service, right? And, uh, what if you you were thinking like maybe charging three hundred dollars a month or even five hundred dollars a month for one on one coaching? What if you charge fifteen hundred dollars a month? Wouldn't it be worth it to you to do one on one coaching? Maybe, right? Maybe if it was two thousand dollars a month, maybe it was twenty thousand dollars for the year. You know, maybe you only get two people all year, but there's two amazing people that you love working with at that level, and that's an extra forty thousand dollars in your pocket. So I just want you to think outside the box. If you think some of these numbers are too high or too big or whatever, you know, think again because there are people out there getting paid this, including myself. So it depends what you're doing. I just want to give a shout out. Hey, Richard, nice to see you. And Jamie uh, and Leslie, I haven't talked to you in so long. Oh, make sure you guys comment and tell me what you're doing. Hi, Melinda. Hi, Linda and Dusty. Yes. Okay, good. So I'm hopefully I'm on, I'm speaking to you guys uh, as far as your, um, 
your pricing goes. I'm talking about what if you actually charged what you were worth today on video. And yes, I am calling you out. If your rate are is too low or if you haven't raised your rate in a long time, it's time, people. Um, I have one person that I talked to just in the last week when I was in Atlanta or Vancouver, I forget where I was. I was, at, I was in Atlanta, uh, Georgia, and Vancouver, Canada just in this last week. And... Um, and somebody told me there, like, every time I get a client, I raise my, oh, when she first started, I know who it was now. Uh, when she first started, she charged a certain rate, right, that she felt comfortable charging. And then every time someone paid her that rate, she would raise her rate per, by the hour, uh, $5, every single time, until she got to this point where people started balking at the price, right? And then uh, at that point, you probably feel pretty comfortable with the rate uh, when they're balking. And it's okay for some people to balk. It's okay for some people to say no, and it's okay for some people to not want to pay your price tag. That doesn't mean you have to discount it or charge less because you can't get everybody. Not everybody's going to be your client. So thanks, Melinda. Must review this. Yes, you got to look at your pricing, you guys. I just want you to see what you're charging, uh, not only for one-on-one -on -one or hourly, but for group programs. A lot of times when I do group programs um, and, uh, and I'm trying to tell people how to price their group programs, they think, okay, well, you know, they don't even think of all the components that are in the program. They think, um, okay, well, it's six weeks, so maybe, you know, $200 or something like that. They just kind of pull a number out of their hat, right? No, I'm, and I'm like, okay, well, what's actually in the program? So there's six hours of your time on six calls, for example, right? Then are you going to do any prep work? Are you going to do any one-on-one -on -one access? Are they going to have email access to you? Are you going to have a Facebook group where you answer questions, right? All of those things come with extra value and your time. So what if you charged $150 an hour? right? If you charged $150 an hour and you're doing a group program for six weeks with six calls and unlimited access to you on email and a Facebook group and maybe a couple resources and stuff like that, you're looking at at least six hours times 150, right? So I have to get my calculator out because I couldn't make it easy and say 100. So that's $900. $900 just in your time. Hey, Barbara, nice to see you. Thanks for coming. And Susan and Marlena, yay. Uh, we're talking about pricing today and make sure you are charging enough because what if you were charging more? You'd be making a whole lot more money and you wouldn't even have to do more work. So in my example, though, a six-week program for six hours of calls plus um, would be $900 in value. Then don't forget to add in some time that you're going to spend on Facebook to answer questions and, uh, and then email if people email you. So you're looking at probably a minimum of maybe three more hours of work. So three more hours of work is another $150 if you're at... Um, $150 an hour, $450, right? So that you're up to $1,350. Say you throw in a few resources and checklists and maybe a product or a book or something like that. Um, so another $150, let's say, so plus $150. So your total program value is $1,500, people. $1,500, okay? $1,500 is the total value of that six-week program. Now, that doesn't mean you have to charge that, but at least if you're talking about to somebody about the program and said, well, it's worth about $1,500, especially if you did it with me one-on-one, -on -one, right? Because it would be, right? If they paid you one-on-one, -on -one, uh, then, um, but I'm only going to charge you $497 or $600 or $997 even, okay? So think about that and, and make sure you're showing the value to people because that's the number one reason why they don't buy is they don't see the value in what you're offering. Um, and so, you can do this with group programs, with your one-on-one, -on -one, with live events, with products that you create, um, all kinds of different types of things that you're going to be selling in your business. Hey, Dusty says, I exactly did this earlier this week and declined a former client and felt great about it. Awesome. It feels good when you can decline a client that is not going to be the perfect fit for you or if they're going to undervalue your products or your pricing and your service and all that kind of thing. So... I, I'm with you guys on that. So make sure you comment below on what you're doing. Um, and if you want more resources about this, uh, you can go to my website. I have a great, a couple great freebies on my um, resources page. Hey, Amber. And my resources page is at jumpstartyourmarketing.com forward slash resources. And if you go to the free trainings page, there's, uh, if you really need to see how much money you need to make so you know how much you need to raise your prices and so you don't have to work so hard, 
go get the need number worksheet on that page. Then there's the Jumpstart Your Biz Kit, which is a lot about the marketing and stuff. There's also a webinar opportunity where you can uh, come to a webinar. You can get my book. There's a lot of free stuff on that page. I just put it up the other day um, with all these great new free gifts that I'm giving out because I believe in free first, then pay. So um, it's always fun to try someone out. I mean, you guys watch me in the videos and things. And then... Um, uh, but it's always good to go a little deeper with some of the trainings because maybe you don't know how much I can really help you. <laughs> I'm really good at helping people jumpstart their businesses and find the money so I can find where you can make more money in your business, uh, what you're charging, uh, in, in what you're selling. Find the missing business model. Like usually I have to add in something that you're doing because or that you're not doing because it can totally make you a ton more money and people don't even think that. So Dusty says last minute minute wanted my help explained I was um sunsetting that service and my rates had increased I don't understand but yay <laughs> uh I hey Linda and uh love your trainings thanks Dusty so definitely go grab some freebies but if you guys are really serious about building your business please 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 go check out my next live event because we go through all of this. We get you set up. We get you the confidence to charge what you're worth. We help you show you how to make money in the room. People actually walk away making sales and getting clients. Uh, and it doesn't matter what kind of business you are. Um, we show you how to get started speaking and maybe even writing a book and all the things that you need to do to elevate your business, um, become really the expert in your industry and get all the clients that you want redesign your your lifestyle your business around the kind of life that you want to live because a lot of us are working way too hard and too many hours and so we put in systems and show you how to automate some of the marketing that you're doing and it's a really 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 great event I've been doing them since 2008 I highly recommend you check it out uh, and it's in November so you have plenty of time to make some plans if you go to um, livebigevents.com livebigevents.com the link is in the um, top part of this video, uh, then you'll see the featured event. Uh, if you're watching this later on, then it could be a different event right now, but, uh, but I have three or four different events all year long. Uh, hey Angela, I'm so see, uh, sunset phasing out. Got it. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, all right. So I just wanted to leave you with, um, this idea from the shower this morning that you need to maybe reevaluate your pricing structure, which also goes hand with, um, your confidence. Of course, the more you can charge, the more your confidence will go up. The more people pay you at that rate, the more your confidence will go up and the more you can charge more. Okay. So it works hand in hand. You just got to get started and push yourself just a little bit harder to that next level. All right. And so, um, go to the event, livebigevents.com and I will see you guys soon. Oh, and I'm speaking. Um, if you're local, I actually am speaking next Thursday, uh, at the eWomen Network here in Roseville, California. So make sure you go to eWomenNetwork.com and sign up for that. And I want to see you there because we're talking about marketing strategies and jumpstarting your business. Uh, and I promised I would tell you where I'm flying out today. So I'm actually, <laughs> I'm going to San Diego this, uh, this afternoon, just a couple hours, uh, to my friend Steve's, uh, new media, summit. So it's all about podcasting and online marketing. And, uh, I'm hoping to start my podcast in November. So watch and stay tuned for more online stuff from me. And then from there, I'm going to Oceanside, which is right down there also for a little retreat, a three day retreat with the evolutionary business council that I'm a part of. So lots of fun stuff in the next week. Um, but I hope to uh, talk to you soon. Message me on Facebook if you have any questions and have a great day, everyone. Okay. <laughs>